Okay. Keep going. Supports are gonna be someone who can stimulate engage or, or you know, back up engage. Huh? Okay, okay, engage supports. All right, we're gonna get like Thresh and then Leona or something. There are Rakan as well. Back up engage is there too, right? So then mid is gonna be a plethora of nice little, what would you call it at the moment? What do you think? Mid's gonna be flexible. Scrumptious morsels. Yeah, I like scrumptious. All right, because we get a lot of already banned away, like Zoe, the LeBlanc. We're targeting here, later. Got a target. Angels, Twisted Fate. Um, we know we play Zoe too, and that's why Fem's not gonna get that jungle. And I was gonna finish this off being like, well, jungle's just gonna be Zin Zhao, Jarvan, or Lee Sims. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jungle's gonna be something that can buy a War Mogs, to which SOFM says is everything. But yeah, now time to see where Weibo goes with this first pick. Aphelios Jin being the only two way to carry left open. WE obviously leaving that Jin pick from last okay. time around, but I like the Aphelios pick more. Again, I feel like we've seen a lot heavier index into these more scaling uh, champions that are able to do more later on in the game. Isn't too much, I think, I don't want to say too much threat. I feel like there's a lot of ways to, to dissuade some of the things that champions like Aphelios, Jinx, or Caitlyn would have problems playing against now for we i mean we're gonna say see the same old jungle trade that we have seen i guess the question here is if stay wants to go towards the gin or if they want to opt into i'd say one of the more niche strategies that we've seen a little bit of people taking ap into the bot lane we have seen a couple games of zig so far in the lpl so that option is also always available okay well zig's on my mind especially uh maybe flexing around a support here for we i'm not gonna say anything until we actually see something locked in because at this point Play Thresh and stuff would be the, the direction, but seeing the Jin here, but when going up against Wan Fong is, is a nice little touch. And it, it's what we just pointed out, right? Into the Aphelios, really the only meta options you'd have left are him or if you wanted to pull out the Ziggs. Now for Weibo, it's about where they're going to want to go with support. Again, we've seen the Thresh priority start to fall off. We are going to just go back to the Rakan once again. Yep. Now for WE, you could match support, but again, I don't feel like your pool would feel all that pinched. You always could opt into picking up something like a mid laner here and then banning out more mids on 4-5, despite oh. Orky losing the last game. Is oh! Sona, okay. Well, you talk about a yeah. champ supports. I mean, this is along the lines, just a little bit different. I gotta be honest, this is not something I have really seen much of if at all of i think some people have been messing around with this in solo queue a little bit but yeah just an enchanter coming out gonna be gonna be a learning experience for us all to see how this one does do obviously massive uh ability to reinforce the team in team fights huge aoe cc that you can bring out with your ultimate and set up for champions like sinza or, or any other champions you have that want to go in later on and it's not like a speciality that we're seeing from kadayo folks this is his first time ever in competitive Daddy's going to pull this out. So, yeah, obviously pulling this one from Solo Queue and seeing a different bottom lane here, Lyric. Good amounts of poke coming through too. We can talk more about it within the realms of the team comp because I want to start shoring up these solo lanes. The only thing that's left. Lyric, we're not going to get the shy on Gwen this time around. We once again got the Syndra ban. I like the Jace against Bubi, which was one of his big picks in 2021. And it makes me wonder if for WE, they're just going to go back to a Renekton with the fact that Gwen and Jace are both banned off the table. A great point that you highlighted in game one is the fact that uh, the Shy obviously is someone who's comfortable to pull out either 80 carries in the top lane or even ranged mages, as we've been seeing just still spamming a bunch of Victor in solo queue so far. Corky was the champion that we highlighted before we got the surprise Sona pick. I wouldn't be surprised to see this one again. I feel like right now, if you pick Corky, in, in the LPL, you just have more than a 50% chance of winning. I, I feel like we have not <laughs> seen this champion really struggle that much, yeah. barring the games that Cryon had on him. I think it was day two. So, yeah. Uh, right now, odds are WE will win this game just because they have Corky. Okay, well, I mean, Lyric, we could have said that about game one, but they didn't. So, at the end of the day, I'm just going to leave that there. Um... Whoa, whoa, whoa. More than, more than, a uh, more than 50% chance is still not 100%, my friend. Okay. Oh, 10 seconds left to go on the shine. It's going to oh. pull out the graves. So, yeah, if we're talking shine. about safe, line pickable top that 
can play either style. You can put resources into it and you can enable him to be a massive carry, or you can do a little bit of just leaving him on his island. We obviously saw EDG doing a lot of both play styles over at Worlds. And now for WE. Man, I don't know what to predict for WE. How can you predict anything? They actually do it. They bring out the Scion, so can go for things like early plated steel caps or, or Bramble Vests coming out to try and circumvent that lane matchup. Just chill and farm. A ton of engage coming out. We have a solid 5v5 for WE once again with the amount of AoE engage and damage coming out. And for the side of Levo, again, I feel like we're seeing this dynamic of one team, either two teams hard picking or like these front to back 5v5s with a little bit of poke and if not poke it's just these sorts of compositions where you're looking at mid jungle leeson and vex ability to move around the map rakan looking for these early rotations as well and just finding picks because i mean if you're going up against a shy graveless sign you feel my stomach at this point we we're changing things around we got a soda on the roof we got a scion again no other champion starts with s i honestly cannot Sin. even remember I cannot remember the last time Sona was met, at least in the LPL. I think I remember uh, Sona, like when Sona Tariq was out in other regions, it didn't really pop off as big here, which makes sense, right? We've always been bigger on tank and engage supports. So, been quite a while since Sona was a staple. Again, I'm curious to see how this will go. You'll obviously just be able to continuously uh, poke with your Q in lane and look to win through that route. It is interesting as well that typically you see Jin's picked to play away from the Jin lane since Jin is so safe at just being able to yeah. catch waves. Uh, if you get zoned off the wave, you always could open the curtain call and try and farm with that. You obviously do take the fleet footwork, but Sona not a champion you would expect to be looking for these these roam timers, right? You're squishy. You can't just blindly walk into river without fear of getting bursted out. Well, it's going to be interesting to see the lightning phase itself, Lyric. Uh, both AD carries have gone for fleet footwork as well, so we're on the more safer side. Comet for Angel mid lane. I'm just observing what kind of seeing with rune setups here. And the Shy is going fleet footwork up in that top lane too, so we are playing re relatively respectful in this, these early lanes. Yeah, I'm actually very surprised about Angel running the, the Comet setup here especially because it just kind of says you're going to play a bit of a war of attrition right back off, throw out your E's, hope to whittle him down with Comet, but you shouldn't have any 1v1 kill pressure in, in a war of attrition against Corky. Again, Corky can just back off. You will have your Valkyrie later on to just be able to escape. It's all about the all-in coming from Vex, where Electrocute definitely would give you more damage. Well, in that scenario, at least we do see Comet at the ready as the Shy in the top lane versus Yubu. It's level 2 on this Graves, but... Yubu's holding out. He's got Grasp of the Undying. He's proctored a couple of times. And the Shy's going to try and bully him once again. Uh, Lyric, in game one, it was an absolute dominating landing phase with Gwen versus Renekton. The Shy pushed him down 30 CS in a matter of 10 minutes. So looking for Yubu to kind of recover in this one, which at least he's not at 3 CS at the start of this. That's a nice change. You could see, though, that the team W is a very different idea of what they want to do this time around. They are just going to leave Bubu on an island. Bubu is path down towards the bottom side. Their bot lane's heavily pushing in. Bubu knows even if he does fall behind in terms of gold, he's a, a relatively efficient build for just how useful he needs to be, right? Just press R, go in, uh, find the engage. So for W, it's going to be a lot about this bottom lane. That's why they did pick the enchanter support. And Vue is hovering around here right now. God, Lyric, I mean, that was that was pretty big. I mean, staying Kadaya, there's going to be a, a lot of... A lot of poke, a lot of burst coming through. This view you mentioned, he's path between wards, and that means Angel's gonna be pretty deep here, but Ignite's down! Oh, he bites. To get the jungler, that's first blood over to Angel. He's still got flash available, but no mana bar there. View on the chase, but look at this Yordle. Absolutely walk out of his face. That's what I get for disrespecting the Comet Vex Jaded. coming out. Again, he, even Shanks looked like he didn't expect the damage that, that followed through. Still have this flash up, playing so far forward. Obviously trying to bait Angel in since Few was wrapping around to try to get that gank off. But then it didn't matter. Shanks already chunked to half HP. Angel doesn't even have that much mana left. Wouldn't be surprised if it, it's just enough for one more rotation. Hits the E, Comet does land straight to the personal space, which, which brings out the fear. You finish off with the Q. He had literally just enough mana to get his one rotation of spells off with the ignite with the comet it was enough and he had to get out immediately as well timing was inevitable for this vex and first blood going over to angel and the solo kill a very big deal lyric 
Uh, I mean, we, we did talk about the, the poke with Corky as well. And we, we talked about the laning phase being something that in the 1v1 shouldn't really, it shouldn't really ever happen. But Angel proves us wrong. And with that, I mean, it's, it, it's going to be something we talk about a little bit more. Uh, one Fong and on, I'm going to pause because this is a 2v2 once again. It doesn't net too much more apart from Kadai getting to half HP and Weibo Gaming getting a trade back on the other end. Still, I think for Weibo, they feel totally fine, right? You're the one with the Aphelios on the opposite side of the, of the gym, so you're going to be completely fine in like neutral uh, lane states where you're both even in farm. They're the double range matchup. They should be poking you out. They should be putting you in a hard position, but no. For Juan Fong and on, they're going to be able to support SOFM on this invade, but Shanks is actually here first. SOFM, as he's spotted out, just note that he's level 5. There's a jungle lead here, Lyric, and on not going to get tagged down by the Deadly Forest, but Vue getting sent packing. Kadai is still ambitious, though, looking for that war of attrition that we've been talking about throughout this game, but with Angel on the wing, Shanks is paying respect. There's the Gromp. There's another lead that SOFM is so blatantly showing, and the priority for Dragon cannot be clearer. Really nice by Weibo, especially Angel, uh, being able to get back to lane, hover over, zone Shanks off from being able to move. I feel like the big difference maker, in my opinion, now Weibo not only able to steal some camps, get some vision down, take a dragon, they're going to push this uh, lane in as well. You'd expect both bot lanes to be sitting on a recall pretty soon. Speaking of recalls, the Shy, Pot of Cull, he's going to be making money. He wants that pure 1v1, but a view might not give that to him. Well, at least there's a blast cone there. Great timing. He had level 6 as well if he had to collateral damage over the wall. But a bit of a CS lead up in the top side. His bottom side. This is a 2v2 once again. Gravitum's down. Ignite through as well. Kadaya getting low. And look at the heal that's already been burned as Angel's about to do it. Oh, Get we're getting ready. a dive. The Shadow Realm's coming through. Angel's going to be very upset at somebody. But at who? For Kadaya. He's still getting out. But with a slither and a reset once again. A flash away from stay. And Angel knows that he's done the way. Yeah, stay having to watch out for the reset coming from Angel's ultimate. Would have been able to pick up another kill. So nice flash by him. Still going to lose what looked like about a wave and a half of gold experience. So Huan Fong building up a nice bit of lead. Great job by Weibo to recognize their strengths. We hit yep. on their mid jungle coming out from draft if this is where they would want to prioritize. Yeah. Angel won the mid lane matchup by himself, Five finding the solo kill. And then they've just used that pressure ever since to hover towards bot side. And when you have Rakan against Sona, Rakan brings a lot more skirmishing power with the CC that he brings, with some of the base yeah. damages available, the Guardian, as compared to something like Kadaya, who would prefer just the isolated lane to come through. And I feel like we can come back and talk about Angel getting the solo kill and how much it's impacted the, the game, right? Where... You talked about the, the mid-jungle 2v2, and again, reiterate that he, he didn't need it at first, and SOFM has so many options now, Lyric, uh, bot lane, top lane as well, still winning out, and now resetting a little bit as well as he heads up there. Quan Fong, he picks up these frogs. I just want, also want to point out that there's a lot of summoners available on Weibo versus not as many. It seems like 4WE, especially in these big lanes. going to have to cut myself off, Lyric, to let myself say that Say's going to die. Kadaya has no ulti, so there's no crescendo for this one. Only death from the Shuriken. Swan Fong with a double lyric. It's going from bad to worse. Yeah, and that came out of nowhere. I was expecting On to be the one to flash forward and look for the engage. It was actually Huan Fong who flashes forward. On instantly ying to him. They have enough damage. No summoners on the opposite side. Able to take them down. Are already had an item advantage when we look at Huan Fong having that pickaxe. But going to be cemented even further now. It's a 3k gold lead lyric. I mean, at this point, not looking great. Early game for WE as we watch the flash forward. Yeah. Yeah, Juan Fong flashing forward already getting some of those chakrams going on the minion wave instantly into the moonlight visual to delete stay. He has enough sustain on tanked enough uh, turret shots for them to be able to follow through. And this is why we love to watch Juan Fong and why even yeah. last year when Suning were not a good team, a, a lot of, you know, whether it was his casters or, or other experts who follow the LPL have always rated Juan Fong quite highly. Uh, and yeah, he's stepping up and good on On as well. Very highly criticized player. Again, I think not not a standout, not not a, not a star by any means yet, but definitely had a lot of growth in from the start of 21 to, to the finish. Yeah, it, there's somewhere between on and off that you, you feel comfortable saying with the consistency of this player. You know, game number one, 
a couple of question marks about him, but that game-changing hook meant that PewPew Dive meant that Weber Gaming eventually went on to win the game. As here we go, quickness again in the bottom lane lyric. It'll continue. Stay has to go. There's no easy way to say it. Zero two for both the bottom laners. Huan Fong is playing with his food, and Kadaya now left in a lane without a soul. It's going to be even more of a CS advantage. You're getting turret plates on him. Your jungler just picked up Rift Herald on top side. Your team is literally winning everywhere on the map. And I guess when you look at Draft, right, you already know Graves is going to win. You already know Vex will push in Corky early on. You were kind of banking on your bot lane to, to be the one safe spot, but Huan Fong and Ahn just able to completely dominate the 2v2 since the very start. It's, it's great to see when game number one was so back and forth. Game number one was... You know, quite slow in tempo, Lyric, and there was no clear decider, but it felt like WE were maintaining control for a good part. But this early game is definitive. This early game is 4K gold lead, and while I believe in cutbacks, while I believe in many different things in League of Legends, I think what we're expecting now is the gameplay to continue ramping up for Weibo Gaming with second dragon coming up in 30 seconds. Uh, another Herald will be producing itself in two to three minutes. Not 100% on that. Um, sorry, I do have a timer in the top right. Five minutes would be accurate there, and every lane going well for them, Lyric. What's more to say? I mean, it's a 4K gold lead at 10 minutes. There's going to be uh, not too much to say as we go forward. I do want to say, though, I'm kind of disappointed just for the fact of seeing champions like Sona, which I'm not all too familiar with in terms of, like, how they would slot into this meta come out, and then to see the, the team just kind of fall apart so hard in the first 10 yeah. minutes... You know, not going to know how that pick could have worked out or, or how WE envisioned it working out. Even for the Scion and top side, though, I mean, we all know how Scion works. You, you can slot any beefy tank into that role, and look yeah. what he did. Ramble into plated steel caps. You can do it against any AD top laner, and you just get to chill. And he, at, at least, though, like, yeah, he's, he's keeping up somewhat, right? And He's chilling to a degree, but also the Shy's getting through a landing phase with Cole, a, a Graves that has had no attention. Even Bu getting low here, dodging away as I say that. Bu coming through, what a kite back. Bu not able to hit the target as the Shy out of mana for now. He runs back in. Now that's where you get me, Lyric, because the Shy had it so good until he did that. <laughs> oh, that was that was a classic so the Shy close, play. So that was bad. that was phenomenal. In, in the 1v1, he's like, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I'm not quite sure what Bu Bu's ult was doing. Heck, maybe that was the point because he pretty much did it like three feet away from the Shy. The Shy would have easily been able to dodge that every day of the week. But he's like, I'm just going to look so, so much like a moron. The Shy is going to think I'm a moron, come out, and then bam, my jungler's here. You're going down. Typical the Shy. <laughs> in fact, it was such a clean step, like, such a clean dodge, and then that happens afterwards. You know, never change. I, I think you're overhyping this. I think you're overhyping this dodge a little bit, my dude. dude Just a little bit. I don't care. I don't care. I need to see. You know, there was the good, the bad, and the ugly in that play. Um, and you know, once again, taking the first death here of Weibo Gaming for WE. That's something. That's some kind of positivity we can talk about, lyric. But where do we go from here? Like, how do you see WE regaining some control in this game? I need something. Well. I was going to say, since since that time that we've been laughing at that kill, Weibo have also picked up another tower, and they've also picked up a dragon. So okay. I don't think they're feeling all too bad about uh, WE sending resources up towards topside. And honestly, if you're, if you're asking me for options for WE at this point, I mean, we're at 6K gold difference at 13 minutes. You, you are pretty much just reacting. You, you can't even look to cross map any, anymore. Yeah. You, you are so far behind in terms of, like, damage coming out from from key carries like comparing Quan Fong to stay in terms of first move you have on the map because now Weibo have three lanes and three lane matchups that just win every variation of however you have someone in side lane the, the members of Weibo are going to win so they're going to be able to move first they're always going to be able to have vision I think for WE you're kind of just hoping that they overforce on a dive or or something along these lines yeah and then you know maybe soon we get we get some bounty gold in there and that's what WE want. A massive five-man package and five-man unstoppable force where everyone's forced into a corner sitting on the hot fire. I feel like that's that's something we want, you know? That's something that's the ideal for WE. And look, it is a bit of a shame that you're telling me it, it is that difficult for WE in game two because after seeing game one, I was pleasantly surprised. I thought, man, this roster 
uh, piece together better than than we expected in the offseason. Oh, I definitely agree. And right, th this assuming this game does go on the way it looks like it will, and it should. I mean, it's it's a blot in the early landing phase, and in terms of how they use that pressure, right? So something to go back and review, and you can just look at two or three small moments where the game could have looked completely different. As SOFM is just taking is it between himself. Every member. <laughs> He's in four. No he's one's here. Four. He flashes crescendo, though. That's a really good gloom coming out of Angel as the Thomas the Tank Engine rolls into him. SOFM is kind of like the shy, so I see why this roster is a lot more fun to watch. You know, it was just a little bit perplexing. I guess I don't know if if anyone other than Stay was showing on the map at the time, but I don't yeah. think so. I think Stay... So, you visualize Stay is the only one you see on the map is Weibo. You have your top laner pushing up bots, so you don't know no one's bot. You have no one top in the shot. Uh, SOFM just goes to that try brush. I wonder... I wonder what he was thinking. I, um, I mean, he must have just been thinking that Shanks was by himself. True. But so let's, let's try for it. I mean, you're that far ahead, right? When you're that far ahead, you can do whatever you want. And still, it's going to take a lot more than what WE get here to try and find an opportunity in the game. Now, spotted on control, Ward Lyric. And yeah, he wanted to he wanted to go for it. Yeah, so obviously SOFM doesn't know where anyone is. But again, by your information... Actually, no one's showing on the side of W. You look, you look even at, at Jin. He's not showing on a wave up until right now. No information on any members. SFM still trying to set up with Angel to catch out the Corky. I mean, there's, there's not, not much to say. You ran Style into four people. Me. Yeah. Hey, um, on, on to uh, happier things for Weibo Gaming, though. I wanted to point out, before the gold graphic went down, Bun Fong has been at the center of every disaster, i.e. Tier 1 turret for Weibo Gaming. Now, the gold lead is huge because if you notice down the bottom, there's a full item that Wan Fong's ahead. I'm not going to be caught out here, guys. Just hold the phone. And there was almost a double gold... I think there was actually a double gold difference from Wan Fong to stay in this game, Lyric. And that's a very big deal considering that he's 50 CS up as well. So Wan Fong, a huge deal. Now level 11. And any team fight, like any dragon... Just seems like if Wan Fong's not dead and and maybe even Angel dead at the start of it, then WE will get obliterated in less than 10 seconds. Oh yeah, I mean he even has the Lord Dominix to go up against people like BB who are stacking armor, right? So it's gonna be able to do a fair bit of damage to any member on the side of Team WE. Now Weibo playing by Hello. the book. Oh, I think I think he's just dead. Went down with quickness. Yes, Bye. we are. Sonic Wave and that's, that's personal space. Again, COVID time's not great as Angel sent out the ulti, but he's not going to take it. He's not going to follow that one up. And Lyric, I keep forgetting it because Shadow Surge sounds so similar to Shadow Flame, and it's really hard to discern between the item and Vex's ulti. Right, he needs to make it difficult, didn't they? But uh, yeah, that no. one gets thrown out. Surprisingly, I actually feel like that one's not too bad just because I feel like the word Surge is very aesthetically exactly what X does. Yeah. Like, I think I feel like it describes the ability very well. So, Kadai is dead. hey, Kadai is dead. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, this, uh, WE may be looking a little bit, uh, morally defeated more Dude, than anything else right now. after game one, that makes sense. After what was so close, like, I think it was Orcs who, who if you saw on Twitter, guys, um, there's a, there's a picture of how Shanks was after that game number one. And you would be, you'd be so exhausted from what was such a mentally straining game number one. So close. And again, you need to go back. If you haven't seen game number one, this was, this I think so far was the if game If you haven't of the week. seen game number one, the shy on 10 HP solo kills, a full HP <laughs> yeah, in that game does. is awesome. Oh, LS, you know, happy in his boots with that one. I tell you what, it kind of paints a bit of a picture. We got to late game, we got to ultra late game. Renekton had a hard time. Now, this also sounds like a great time to remind people, to remind everyone, as uh, I think On's fine. He's on a Rakan. Yeah, he's fine. That tomorrow, we do have three series. So remember, if you want to watch LPL tomorrow, tune in two hours earlier. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are now wow. three series days. It's one more day than we had last year. And yeah, you're going to get a ton of games. Dude, three series days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, that's like seven, eight hours of competitive play up to the moment. What are it's going to be great 
mm. it's gonna be great when when us color casters try doing all three in a day we're gonna know exactly how how people like dom feel having you know to watch a full game of potentially nine games sure. that could all be like 40 minutes long we have done that before in the lpl but it's, it's been a while it's been a while it, it has it has been a while we've got a lot of co-streamers now as well so it depends on who we got watching it feels like it could be uh you know a, a bit of a, a bit of a mixed bag we're making everyone you're not suffering still uh you're still our og lpl viewers and we appreciate you guys being here again first week of competitive playback and it does feel like the lpl games we've had have already been bangers uh sorry russell tassels yesterday we got the <laughs> we got the back door from ra versus top esports and game number one of this we got such a great close from weibo gaming as herald of the top side the reason we're kind of talking poo is because it's 10k no 11k gold lead at 20 minutes this has been a stomp. Uh, On has Australia's and a quickness, and that's why I'm scared for WE to even be near turrets. It has been a second game, not even worth mentioning. They're on top oh. of one Fong, but he's altered away in Lyric. This is the problem. He has Crescendum. He's <laughs> Gale forced in. He's still alive. That's a two man fear. Angel wants to edit right here with his Shadow Surge already being burnt down. He won't get a reset though, as Bubu lives on, but he will get the kill. The curtain call doing no damage whatsoever. And look at the shy. He's in the base and he cares not. Shanks is going to get smoke screen for the time being, and this grave is just going to run out of there. The flash forward from Kadaya. He doesn't have any more summoners. Deadly Flourish dodged away. There we go. Immortal Shield Bone Shield. They flash it. They just want the shy. They got him, Lyric. They did it. What cost? Who cares? They killed the shy. Look, I just can't get over what we just saw, right? WE catch Juan Fog. They make him burn both of his summoners. He then gale forces into four people <laughs> and they actually turn it around. Yeah. That is how, that is just how much stronger in terms of gold, items, stats that Weibo are right now. And that replay is going to be great. The Shy buying a ton of time. That, that's exactly why we're still here. You, you the moments like that. If you rearrange Huan Fong, if you guys look at the letters right on your screen, if you rearrange that, you actually get the word chat. And the biggest thing is, Juan Fong's been showing <laughs> us that this iteration of his word has been there for how many years, Luke? How many years has he been in the LPL? Is it since 20? Was it 2020? 2020. Yeah. yeah. Where um, we talked about him in IT. Our young. first year. His first year. Well, I mean, our first year together, not yeah. not your first year. I was here in, I was here in, 20, I was here in 2019. I um. Uh, you were. I joined the year after You LPL were here when was. Angel was, was swapping between top with Maple. Good times. That's right. Oh, that was, uh, yeah, corky top for, for Maple yeah. at some point as well. So, yeah, very, very interesting year. I always remember that super team not working out with SMLZ in the bottom lane. Missing. Okay, Sterix. Yep. But we'll, 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 we'll take this part semi-seriously. We will do our jobs. Okay. As you know, Dragon, about to be up in 20 well, seconds. In a great flanking Actually, oh! oh, no. Three-man fear. Wait, three-man fear. The quickness going to hit everyone as well. Even though SOFM's dead, the problem is... Juan Fong is not. Look at the range and the reset as well. Doom and gloom <laughs> the falls. Huge. WE. Get yourself a collateral damage. Burn him down. And another reset will hit the ground. Angel has it. He won't follow it though. And it doesn't matter, Lyric. I'll say it again. If jungle's dead, Weibo Gaming's bottom lane will do the rest. I'm telling you, more damage is so visually pleasing. That, that collateral damage is coming out and spanking the members of WE. Another dragon picked up. We were going to set up that fight. Nice on WE to randomly find a, a pick onto SOFM, but still, we're going to see here. Just really nice uh, lockdown coming out from Stay. They have the burst to follow him up, but on with a great flank coming in, locking numerous members down. Juan Fong hitting a multi-man ultimate, and then bam, the collateral damage going to come out from the Shy right here, <laughs> picking up a double kill, okay. and leaving Weibo Gaming in a spot where they can pick up the Help dragon. LPL sniper, dude. That gives him two kills, and suddenly he's not 0-2 anymore, Lou. It's two Arden Graves who's been given a bounty, and Weibo Gaming, you know, there's, there's times when you, you buy this delicious steak, right? This is going to be the last one, Lyric, I promise you. As Baron gets started here, and you want the eye fillet, or maybe you want, you know, you're like, oh, maybe I'll get a chuck steak today. But for Weibo Gaming, they, they got the eye fillet. They got the quality steak because they know it's going to taste better. 
but they're taking their time with them. That's what matters here. Not sure where I'm going with the rest of this analogy, but this meet's pretty good for Weibo Gaming in the second game as WE are getting charred around. Look at Bubu, doesn't matter. And the flanking angle as well. That's what you want. It's a shadow surge once more of epic proportions from Angel. A double over to SOFM. As Angel on this pick, I have to say, is so damn gorgeous. Yeah, Angel coming in, showing us remnants of those 2020 performances. And man, I just got to say, 2022 Weibo Gaming is looking like one of the most <laughs> exciting LPL teams to watch. Dude. I mean, how this roster's come together from game one to now as they're approaching towards their first win of the LPL and an ace to boot. Juan Fong, Angel, SOFM and the Shy, all with bounties and on with sick flanks throughout. He might not have the bounty, but he has my respect because game number two was a slaughter and Weibo Gaming have woken us all up to the reality that LPL teams give us bangers all the damn time. Yeah, nice to see from Weibo. It all started from the mid lane, in my opinion, with Angel just completely doing whatever he wanted to Shanks in this mid lane matchup. Binding the solo kill early on when W were trying to set up the, the gank mid. And then from there, the, the pressure that WE's bot site had was pretty much non-existent. You have the Specs mid that is consistently able to hover. We saw him linking up with Lee Sin, going into the enemy jungle, picking up dragons, and then just really using that, that, that mid lane matchup as a strong point to enable SOFM and then really set up one Fong who honestly was just popping off on his own mostly but yeah a lot of it starting from early game in mid and now we get to see hey 